what's up everybody welcome to another video and uh, today we're gonna see how we can do this graded ring uh, the most important part is to understand this uh, pattern okay and uh, I'll try my best to explain you how we can do such a pattern which is which looks a bit complicated but in reality it's very easy okay so let's get started alright so this three cow over here what I have is the one of this uh, the inside one is the ring size and then this one is the depth okay over here and this one is the edge I mean this one okay so I took this complete two millimeter okay and the depth is around one millimeter all right okay so let's begin so this is uh, this is actually the place where I'm gonna um, flow this pattern okay this space over here if you need to have it deep you can offset like 1.2 or 1.5 depending on the thickness but for now it just uh, but for now the important thing is to understand this concept and then um, get the main curve once you have your main curve you can play with that you can um, stretch it uh, do whatever you want okay all right uh, I have another way to explain this on uh, smart flow but for now I would just do this directly on the ring which should be a bit easier okay all right so um, so according to the depth uh, I'll need a curve which is exactly in between of these two so I'll just offset this like 0.5 up because I know it's one millimeter and then we have this thing over here all right now imagine if you are thinking of this curve here right or let's say this uh, metal here so if you cut here okay and then we divide it in right and left okay so this is the right side and this one is the left side so this thing is on top right so it goes top bottom then top again so uh, actually it should be like right top and then we go like left bottom and then left top and then it goes to the right bottom and then again it goes up okay so right left left right right that's how you're gonna divide this it's much easier you might find it confusing what I'm saying right now like right left right left but you will uh, uh, you will see how easy is this okay so up down up down up all right so we're gonna divide this in one section so this is our one section where we're gonna work okay so for that uh, I would need five section and one more thing uh, it's important for us to understand how many of this pattern actually is a copy it's around the ring so for now I'll just take like one quarter and you can do like with three of them or four of them uh, or five six depend on the flow okay once you know once once you know how you do the uh, single pattern you can do this with uh, multiple patterns okay i leave it on you you guys to decide how often you want the copy of this one all right so let's take a line from here and then divide this in five okay just one fourth of the ring so we'll do the center over here number of copy five angle to be to be filled is this okay now it takes the it takes from here the uh, the calculation so I better put it like minus 90 and then this is what I exactly need okay so I need like one two three four five all right so for now I don't need this one I'll just lock this out lock it and um, yeah I'll just keep this three over here okay Alright, so um, take a point, 
like I said, this goes up, up, down, up, down, up, right? So I go here one, intersection two, and up, okay? So this was easy, up, down, up, down, up. And then you go like right, left, left, right, right. So if you look from, oh, all right. <laughs> I did the whole thing on top view, but I, did, I wanted the same thing over here. So that's not a problem. I select everything from here, including the image, and we'll just rotate this in right view. So we have everything on the front view, all right? Except this thing over here. So I'll just unlock it and then bring it back over here and lock it back. All right. So. Uh, this is the right one, okay, over here, right, left, left, right, 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 left, left, right, and then again, right, and I'll move it like 2 millimeter or 1.5 for the moment, okay, let's just separate them, like, if you look from this view, okay, this is my right side and this is my left side, all right, so this is on the right and this is on the left. All right, so that's it. That's it. This is the thing. This is so easy. Like you don't have to do anything else on this one. Hide it. We don't need this anymore. And we're going to group this points. And uh, I'm going to do an array polar with number of copy four. Okay, but this time the angle to be filled is 360 degree. All right. So once you have this, I can you can even lock this one or you can hide it or if you want to just keep it like that, I would say let's let's just keep it like that. Okay, now if you need to center this, you know I moved this around 1.5, so I'll bring it back around minus 0.75 to to be sure like this is this thing is in the middle, okay? And uh, one thing we need over here now is interpolate point curve. And I'll use my point option and I'll start from this point over here and just do the uh, complete curve. Okay, let me do a quick snap here. All right, this is it. That's it. This was the main thing we needed. Okay, so once you have this, all you need to do is pipe, diameter 1 millimeter or 0 0.9, 0 0.8, whatever suits the best. And then we're going to do a array polar with three copies. That's it. You are done with this thing and this thing is ready. You got the main curve, like I said, you got the main curve here and uh, yes perfect this is what we want and the only thing you need to do is make this section and uh, and do a revolve or sweep one however you want all right now in case you need to make it you know thicker or you want to have it uh, um, a bit closer you can either play with the thickness of this pipe or you can just do a, a scale one day right so we still have our uh, mother curve here yeah we still have like one curve we did this with one curve so you know we have all the history updates updated and then what you can do here is just do a scale and you can see the update itself okay so you can play with this, like you want to reduce it, yeah, more closer to each other, you can do that as well. And uh, in case if you need to add a cross section and do a sweep one, you can even do that as well. And uh, yeah, that's it. This is ready. Uh, let's just draw a circle here. Let's just draw the uh, profile. Okay. All right, this one over here is spreaded, like, you know, it's it's not that close, but uh, I'll keep it like this for the moment. 
and uh, I mean I can uh, you can do with whatever profile you want instead of just a round you can even make this um, uh, what do you call it a twisted uh, pipe okay not just a plain pipe but a twisted one which will look even better so it's it's up to you guys but for me uh, the main thing was to make you guys understand the concept and uh, that that's it all right so let's do a band of let, let me see how much is this this is like one two three four so I'll do a band which goes around uh, uh, seven millimeter and uh, two millimeter height okay all right and uh, in a band you know I like it if it's if it's a comfort fit so I do a I do a curve here uh, all right I'll do a two point curve here and uh, I'll scale it up so mid so it goes from mid to mid and then uh, I do a scale 1D here so center quad and bring it bring it to the mid okay and you can again uh, do a scale 1D here all right okay many people they have their own way of doing a comfort fit I mean I like this way or you can even do a blend like you know just blend it but I prefer this one all right so delete input all enter and finally would like to know how much is this gap so what I'll do here is bounding box B O U R I bounding box and then I'm gonna measure this from end to end so this is like around uh, 3.5 so let's keep it like 3.3 3.3 with the mid 3.3 enter and uh, one millimeter enter oh did I just type 3.3 all right that's not a problem fine okay so this depth over here is like one millimeter that's what we decided or we let's say we talked about it so let's go minus one and uh, that's it this is what we need so I'm gonna do a boolean here and a boolean again with this one perfect all right so yeah obviously I didn't had this uh, in the center so I need to unlock this and uh, move this from quad to the quad okay that's it okay now usually if I have to do this you know I won't leave these gaps over here you know these gaps underneath the pipe uh, but this was just an example of how you can do such a ring okay so once you have this you you have everything right so let's just do this that's a quick way of uh, changing or filling the gaps all right so what I would do here is uh, extrude two points extrude curve to point and I hope this works <laughs> I just thought of doing it this way because like I said once you have your curve you have everything and um, I'm going to do an offset both side with the solid option yes yes and solid yes and uh, let's keep the distance 0.6 uh, oh that's too much I feel like it's, it's too much let's keep it 0.5 okay extract this get the points or uh, we can do like rebuild UV I hope you guys know what I'm doing here and let's keep this point for 
Oh, did I miss something? Oh, okay, I think I missed the surface. All right, perfect. And uh, select view or V. Yeah, go select. And then we do a move UVN over here. If you remember, I just did this like two videos early. I don't know exactly which one was it, but yes, doing the same thing over here. Select U again, and this is towards this side, and this is to the opposite side. Okay, perfect. Okay. Now before things goes wrong, I want to just do a boolean. Okay, because you know this thing over here, it's it's messed up. Yeah, it's seriously messed up. So delete this thing, join this thing, and uh, uh, this is going inside. Yes, this is going inside, and uh, I'll do a boolean difference. I hope it works. Yeah, it did. Wow, cool, perfect. And uh, finally, we'll do an array, and uh, hopefully that should solve the problem. All right, so there's no gap anymore. And like I said, if you feel it's too high or low, you know, you, once you have you once you have the curve, you can do whatever you want. All right, so. Yeah, and this is nice comfort fit inside. You know, you can even do a fillet if you want, or like, a, or you can give it a bevel edge here. You can make your own version. And uh, yeah, that's it. We are good. We are good with this band. Okay, uh, that's it, guys. I I hope you enjoyed. I hope. Uh, it was helpful and uh, I hope you like the way I teach if it does Please like the video subscribe to my channel uh, Ask me question if you have and uh, share the video where it's helpful and Yes, stay tuned. Have a nice day. Bye. Bye